Hey, what's up guys? I'm the Davidic One and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you're new here, we do lots of cool art videos and challenges and tutorials. So if it sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Daniel's vision in Daniel chapter 7. So that's basically going over the four beasts and the Ancient of Days. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Hope you guys enjoy. The first beast on the food chain is a lion with the wings of an eagle, and this beast represents the kingdom of Babylon, which began its rule in 605 BC. Lions are considered the king of beasts, and eagles are considered to be the king of birds. So these two animals combined make the first beast a pretty accurate description of Babylon in the height of its glory. Next, in Daniel's vision, the lion had its wings plucked off, which physically would mean that the lion could no longer fly at its prey. And this symbolically represents the time where Babylon became feeble and weak under Nebuchadnezzar's successors. And this poor leadership eventually led to the demise of Babylon in 539 BC. Second on the food chain, we have a bear raised on one side with three ribs between its teeth. This beast, representing the Medo-Persian Empire, was the one to conquer Babylon in 539 BC. The bear is an accurate symbol of the empire as both the Medo-Persians and bears are thought of as being greedy and cruel. The bear being raised on one side represents the emergence of the Persian portion of the empire as the more dominant half few years before they conquered Babylon. The three ribs between the teeth of the bear each represent a major power that the Medo-Persian Empire conquered. They conquered Lydia, Babylon, and Egypt.
third on the food chain, we have the four-headed leopard with four wings. And this beast represents the semi-Greek Macedonian Empire of Alexander the Great, which conquered the Medo-Persian Empire in 331 BC. Leopards are known to be agile and swift, and wings also symbolize speed. So having a leopard with not two, but four wings emphasizes how lightning fast Alexander the Great's conquest was. He began his conquest in 334 BC, and by 331 BC, he had conquered the Medo-Persian Empire, which had been the greatest empire in the world at the time. The four heads of the leopard represent the four kingdoms that Alexander the Great's empire was divided into after his death. Since Alexander the Great did not specify who should succeed him after he died, his four generals, Cassander, Lysimachus, Seleucus, and Ptolemy, each ruled part of his empire. They were all still the same kingdom, just separated, which is why the four heads of the leopard are all connected to one body. Fourth on the food chain, we have a terrible and strong beast with iron teeth and ten horns that Daniel could not connect to anything he had seen. This beast, representing pagan Rome, conquered the Greek Empire in 168 BC. The great iron teeth of this beast represent the cruelty and strength of the Roman Empire. In the vision, the beast was said to stamp the residue, which symbolizes Rome surpassing all kingdoms before it in destructive power and intensity, completely destroying, subjugating, or enslaving the people it conquered. The Ten Horns represent the Germanic barbarian tribes that invaded Rome in 476 AD, dividing it into ten kingdoms. Next in Daniel's vision comes a little horn which uproots three other horns and has human eyes and a mouth speaking great things. This horn represents Papal Rome or the continuation of the Roman power under the Roman Catholic Church in 538 AD. The three horns that were uprooted represent the three barbarian nations that were overthrown by Papal Rome as it came to power. These nations were destroyed because they supported Arianism, which was the main rival to Catholicism. The little horn having eyes symbolizes that this kingdom was intelligent, especially when compared to the barbarian kingdoms. Fifth on the food chain, we have the Ancient of Days, which is a description and not a title in Aramaic. And this represents God the Father. The white garment that he is wearing symbolizes purity, and his white hair symbolizes antiquity or ancientness. This part of the vision represents the future and the final judgment after which God's kingdom will be the only one remaining. The fourth beast is slain, which represents the end of the system that the little horn symbolized. Then the Son of Man comes and is given dominion, glory, and a kingdom. He represents Jesus, or God's Son, who will have an everlasting dominion and kingdom that will never be destroyed.
Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming uploads. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button because that helps the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos to more people. If you enjoyed this video, I'll link a playlist that has some of my other biblical drawings that you might also enjoy. Until next time, I'm the Davidic One. Stay safe.